Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number one in the Tackle Zone Stand Divisions. Um, this is a group of death. <laughs> Loads of good players in this. Um, good coaches. And so what what Tackle Zone Stand Divisions is, there's uh, eight divisions of eight, I believe. And the top two, and they, they play Swiss. No, they don't. They just play like a round robin seven games and then the top two from each group go through to the playoffs um and this group is crazy with lots of good players coaches and the teams like the teams get extra skills and they can stack and stuff so Kem it was quite a good rule set for Kemri. um Seabro has gone for a mighty blow tackler which i think is a great idea um what i didn't think was a great idea was him going for setek and what was definitely not a good idea was leaving Setek on the bench. <laughs> um, but Setek's a pretty great player, to be fair. Break tackle, strength four, strip ball, block, juggernaut. He's actually a really good player. But not so good when you put him on the bench. <laughs> it means he's only got two rerolls, so he's pretty luck dependent. Um, and he used doubles to get block on his mummies. Uh, well, his tomb guardians, which I think is fine. So like I, I like I like his I like his skills actually. Uh, Shawnee went for like millions of guard, but I do like the the skills that Sea Bros took. I'm just not sure about whether it was worth losing the rerolls to get to get Setek. That was the only thing. I just went with a standard Wood Elf team, but I mean he gets, he gets quite a lot of skills, doesn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven skills, two of which are doubles, and two are stacked. Whereas I just get five normals. So. And they're just a tough team to face, Kemri, aren't they? Uh, the reason that this is a replay analysis is because uh, I was not feeling well when the uh, when this game was on, and I put music on. So that was obviously made the uh, made the uh, video unplayable. So he tempts me in with a failed show hands. I think I should have just played it safe here. Really. Because it, it's hard for them to score in eight turns, isn't it? The bad thing is this mighty blow tackle. Maybe I'll just blitz the mighty blow tackle there. That seems, that seems like what I'm going to do. Brilliant. I mean, he did leave him exposed, didn't he? So that seems like a good choice. <laughs> Get the removal. <laughs> Glorious. Oh, not sure about going for the ball. I think I was probably emboldened by the fact that he lost his tackler. Probably should have just uh, played it kind of safe because it is hard for them to get forward, isn't it? It's hard for Kemri to, to like to push forward um, if you just play safe against them. And he made a removal, and the two stuns. I probably should have playing it again. I would have probably just. I've lost his power, haven't I? He's lost his kill power. So I probably would have just screened it playing it again here. Yeah. I don't like going going in here, giving up hits to maybe... I mean, I guess obviously if I turn him over, it's great, isn't it? Um, and get to win and stuff. Turning him over and winning is obviously really good. But it was, it was a bit risky, wasn't it? I mean, if he fails that pickup, he's got a good chance of losing, hasn't he? So. Cette formation permet d'avancer sans trop de risque. Ça va être dur de leur arracher le ballon. So he's being very safe against the leap player. I'm just going to retreat and screen. Seems reasonable. Le double one. Never lucky. <laughs> that leaves this quite weak. Maybe he should have come behind here to stop the breakthrough down here first before I made that dice roll. I guess he was going to blitz somebody. But I guess he should have come back here to make this stronger first. 
It's the 3D in. Maybe I should have tagged him to uh, isolate the guard. Might have been an idea. Yeah, I was, probably, I was probably intending on blitzing with the dancer and that's why I didn't move him first. But now the tree's in quite a good spot actually, isn't it? Tree's in quite a good spot here because it's 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 like mate forcing him into this side. So actually, just get a, get a good health screen here should be all right. Safe moves first now. Look, brilliant. Is this going to be a tree blitz to burst the ball? <laughs> I mean, there's no one else to really blitz with, is there? Instant take root? Yeah. <laughs> Instant take root. That was a harsh death, wasn't it? I guess I could have re-rolled that. But I want to save a re-roll for the one turn if, if he scores, don't I? And that was a bit of a harsh dodge fail into death. <laughs> and it's turn four, he's in his own half. Not anymore. Only one square over the halfway line on turn four. Three dice of Guac's pretty good, isn't it, on the uh, on the catches? But he, even though the tree's rooted, it's still in a, in a pretty good spot for making it hard for him to to go around. Uh, there's no need because there's no overtime TLC. There's no overtime, so it doesn't matter. Just like a, just a round robin. So blitzing him and just trying to stay in front of him. Really, no need to be clever, is there? Just screen. Again, he goes for the three D with block. Could uphill, uh, uphill this guy into the tree, couldn't I? I just hit the guard. Probably just going to hit the guard. Still only one square over with three turns left, so just try and screen everybody, dodge everyone away with dodge. One guy basing two down guys, pretty good. Maybe I left this a bit open though. He's gonna push down here, is he? He's gotta push somewhere, hasn't he, soon? Or just, uh. Yep, so he's gotta go max speed now with the two turns that are left. And he's got two turns left, he's gotta go. 12 squares. So it kind of traps him, that's alright, I guess. He has got dodge, so maybe he can get out anyway. Yeah, we 
with guard in the cage car. I, I guess I could go for a 1D here. And then go for the ball. But I probably shouldn't have. I think it's better to uh, play safe. Hmm. I think I think this guy should have come over here first. Is he going for the ball? Ah, oh, so I've got him. So I've got him there anyway. So I guess that's not too bad. This guy wants to come around here though. I've got to get another player over here. Hmm. Don't like that. I feel like I should have had something more over here. It is res, yes, mate. So yeah. I mean, that was a little bit unlucky failing that dodge, I guess. But this guy isn't doing a whole lot, is he? Because he, he's already got to go six with him fully, so... So he gets actually quite a good route through now, doesn't he, with this? These knockdowns. Stun's actually huge, though, because that makes it safe. Still looks like we're gonna have a one D on the ball here, right? Minimum. Oh, he's gone the sideline. Uh, 2D on the ball here, isn't there? A decent chance of a 2D on the ball. But <laughs> another Kaz. <laughs> and that dodge fail combined with that stun. And that Kaz means we haven't got many players left. Oh, there's the reroll gone. But yeah, I probably should have just tried to make it safer. Oh, made that dodge. Made that one. 2D on the ball, and just get a push. Well, the power there could have been brutal, couldn't it? Because he could have dodged away and been a scoring threat. I'm still going to do it. Because <laughs> you never know, I might get lucky. But I've just suddenly got no players to try and stop him, basically. We need to make that dodge. Still a bit tricky for him. Still dice to roll, isn't it? Though I feel like the turn before, I shouldn't have. Uh, I should have just tried to make it screen better than I did. He shouldn't. I shouldn't have let him get into the scoring opportunity like this. Should I? Only a 2D. He could have done it with a mummy, couldn't he? he could have got this. this guy could have made it a 3. Bit of a mistake there by him. Could have easily just been a 3D. With block even. But. He gets the perfect stall, and yeah, I guess I, guess I screwed up. Letting him through there. To say on turn 6 he had to go 12 squares to score. For them to do it, that, that's bad play, isn't it? Even no matter how many players were out, that's, that's bad. To get Kemri that far away and then let them get that far forward. Three, six, eight players. Obviously the one turn's a bit tricky. Again, strength five. <laughs> and a proper setup. Just not many, not not loads of players. Oh, 
essentially not enough players. Got to do a 1D push to start it. <laughs> and a perfect kick. Lovely jubbly. Is it still doable with a pal? Maybe. Can block him. him. So I just go straight for the pass now. Seeing as my players can't die on the pass attempt, can they? So he's got it. Wait. What did I do? I didn't go for it. Why didn't I hand off? I could have dodged through and couldn't I have done it? With like loads of dodges? What did I do? Why didn't I go for it? I don't know. That seems stupid. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I'm just, I thought I could have still got the push. I should have tried for it, I think. I don't know what happened there. Yikes. Well, that's lame, isn't it? I don't know, I don't know what I did there. Maybe tilted, yeah. Maybe actually tilted. Targaryen time trying yeah. <laughs> Maybe actually tilted. <laughs> I mean, it is minute turn, so maybe I just didn't see it. Maybe I just didn't see the uh, push. Because, like, it is hard in a minute to make the... Uh, like, you know, to see something like that. So maybe, uh... Maybe I didn't think it was possible. This is minute turns, isn't it? Is it? No, it's not minute turns. No, it's not. It's not minute turns. No excuse then. I don't know why I didn't think it was possible. I'm sure it was possible, right? To get block with the uh, dancer and do it. Yeah, no, I was thinking I was thinking of uh, Kadenix. Well, no, it is three minute turns. Yeah, I don't know why I thought. This is perfect defense. Perfect defense. Perfect defense is crushing here. I was trying to say crushing and said perfect defense at the same time. Perfect defense is not good, is it? Completely bases everybody. That's rough. Because without this perfect defense, could have maybe, you know, bezed forward, made it 1 1, and then uh, trust to a bit of defense. And just ineptness from Kemri. But unfortunately, I mean, got loads of dodge, so it's not the end of the world. But it's pretty bad. Don't need tackle, so might as well give the ball carry. Give that to the ball carrier. They uh, totally changed the, the, the complexion of this drive because now it's just try and stall for a draw, right? I'm probably not going to be able to win. Down so many players. Perfect defense. I mean, dodged away from it. So that's all right. But I think before the defense, before the perfect defense, I might have tried for a quick score. Also, the tackle is out, so that that's also making us feel like uh, stalling isn't so bad. I don't know what how this works. This uh, this this uh, this must be how much time was taken because we're not eight turns in. We're eight turns into sixteen turns. So this must be done off time. Um, so maybe I could have put the spoiler up. Um, so there you go. A near instant take route. Second second turn route instead of first turn. For second activation route instead of first activation route. This is hard to get forward now, isn't it? I'm not getting forward really very easily at all. Which is uh, disappointing. Mm. 
I mean, you know, I was going to say maybe he should have got further forward, but he was quite far forward. This guy needs to go up here, doesn't he? Yep, yeah, good. Good, that's alright. Well, does this guy bother standing up? Maybe not. Oh, well. Work. It's just not, I just can't get forward because he's too near the sideline, isn't he? And he's got this bloody strength four break tackle stripper in the backfield, so... Surprised he didn't push us here. Nah, but he's getting the he's getting the to him guardian on fair enough. But now he's got two tomb guardians in the wide zone, so would hopefully be able to outmaneuver him a bit. Would hope so. Hello, Flicky Flack. This is just a, a replay of the Tackle Zone Star Divisions Game 1 versus Seaboar. Wow, it's really tempting me to put the ball over this side, isn't it, now? He's, he's put the stripper over this side. He's got three Tomb Guardians over this side. Really want to burst over to this side if possible. But, um... I don't know if I did. <laughs> I'm gonna blitz with him. <laughs> Double skulls. But yeah, I could kind of use the uh, use the tree as as a bit of a cage corner. So that's kind of all right, isn't it? Get the tree involved, even though he's rooted. Um, so yeah, so failed that. I mean, I really needed him in front there, didn't I? I was a bit unlucky because I think if that's if that screen's in there, then obviously you can't hit the ball, and maybe next turn can get away from everybody. So that was a bit. That was a little bit. Unlucky, and now he's he gets the stripper back to the centre again. And now these old guys are all behind us. Like everyone's been behind the ball all the time. I mean, it'll get people in front because of the perfect defence. Whereas if it hadn't been a perfect defence, I'd have had people in front and could have maybe pushed it through or around whatever. But the perfect defence really, really struggling, and he only gets two D on the ball here. That defence big trouble. Doesn't pop it. And doesn't punch it push us there, which I thought he might have pushed us there, even though it had been given the tree a punch. If he, I, I, I wouldn't have minded pushing there and following. Now he's fouling. Makes sense, doesn't it? Because I haven't got many, many scoring threats at all now. Oh, that's another removal. So now I've just got hardly any players. <laughs> Only a few turns left, but there's still a chance to, to bez forward a little bit here. Still a bit of a chance to get forward. Couple of GFIs. There you go. Oh, maybe I didn't need to make the second one. And fail it. So yeah, maybe I should have just got him to there and then not made the second one. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, G... Yeah, I pretty much didn't need him there, to be fair. I kind of did need him there. This guy could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. So maybe the safer player would have been trying to double GFI with the dancer. And then so I'd have just definitely have something there, but that was pretty unlucky to double one that. Because um, it would have been pretty much safe with that one GFI from him, whereas it would have been need to, needed two GFIs from him to, to make it totally safe. But also, he, I could have just dodged him around and then made it a full screen. So I think I was a bit unlucky to uh, 
to fail that. Because he'd have had a 4 plus dodging. But it'd been a low mess, so. Maybe I, didn't, maybe I shouldn't have made the GFI, I don't know. But it, whether I should have done or not, it was still totally unlucky to roll a double one on it. And then for him to stun the, stun the dancer, that's, that was brutally unlucky. Brutally unlucky. Ball could still go in the crowd and give us a chance. Of course it doesn't. And that's basically 2-0 now, isn't it? There's not a lot I can do. Get the get the leaper. The leaper has got a chance, actually. Okay, so this is Strip as well. Because he's got a... Uh, maybe I should have followed here. Just to make the catch harder. And then obviously he did catch it, so... Maybe that should have been a, maybe that should have been a follow. Because there's a decent chance of... Obviously, I mean, if I catch it, I get surfed. Like, if I follow, I definitely get surfed. But, um, by following, it does make the catches harder, and then obviously, there would have been a chance for him to just pick it up and score then. So maybe he should have followed. But, and, and he just gets to chain him in and surf him anyway, doesn't he? So. He doesn't need to score again, so he doesn't even need to go for the 2 0, does he? He just has to try and keep it safe. And win 1 0. He's out of re rolls. Oh, he goes for the, the double surf. The double dancer surf. A little bit risky hitting with the ball carrier if, he, if he's going to hit with the ball carrier. Which I guess he is. But getting a double surf here. Surfing both dancers this turn. And this Kaz there. <laughs> yeah, gets the push. That's one dancer gone. <laughs> And there's the other dancer gone. And that is GG, isn't it? <laughs> that is GG. So maybe I shouldn't have made the extra GFI with a catcher. It would it would have meant that he had a 3 plus break tackle for the 2D. But it... I don't know. I think it was alright to make it. I think it, was all right. I think it was just unlucky. I think it was the right move to make the GFI with a catcher. I just think it was unlucky. So now I've suddenly got two L's left on the field. <laughs> go for the one, go for the uphill and get cast. <laughs> so now there's one elf left on the field. <coughs> yeah, so I mean, I do feel a bit hard done by, obviously. <laughs> Five cars, four kills. There wasn't. There was a lot of attrition and stuff, so... Oh, well that's good Flicky Flack, as long as it's not Death Zone, that's good. Yeah, I think that... I think it was right to make that extra GFI, because otherwise it would have just been a 3 plus break tackle to hit with his... with his stripper. And... Yeah, Super G, yeah, yeah, it's not even a quick death. No, that's true. <laughs> slow, slow animations from Camry. <laughs> um, yeah, and particularly this group. I think this group is the is the the toughest group because, like, well, it depends who you are. <laughs> you know, for Shawnee, maybe this group isn't so hard because... As it is, you know, as one of the other one would have been if, like, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> like the Premier League's a hard division because there's like five good teams, isn't there? Though not so much this season with Liverpool, but historically, the, the Premier League there's like about five or six good teams, isn't there? So it is the division of death, yeah. It is a division of death, that's the thing. Um, 
whole grunt master 27 um the this is the thing um but like so like the, the premier league's kind of hard to win because there's five good teams but so that makes it tough but on the other hand and there's only two good teams in the spanish league isn't there but in a way it's much harder for the teams that are outside of the top two in the spanish league isn't it so what i'm saying is <laughs> <laughs> if you think you're good, it's really bad to be in a t in a division with like five good players. But if you still if you're really good, maybe it doesn't matter so much because if you think you're really good, it maybe doesn't matter so much because other people will take points of other people. But I think there's so much luck in blood ball that it just is bad. And this is the group of death, you know, like the coaches in this in this uh, in this. So oh god, right. <laughs> so that just spoiled the other games there. That just spoiled the games that are to come. If you haven't seen the other games to come, I've just spoiled it for you because I forgot that this was a replay of three weeks ago. So there you go. So it was a, it was a terrible it was a terrible start really. Two nil loss. Um, and he made all seven of his GFIs. And uh, I made 10 of 14. I mean, that was a lot of GFIs. But obviously a lot of them were from re-rolls. So, I don't know. Um, I felt like... I, I, the one turn I could have definitely played better. And maybe the defence I should have played better. I think I maybe could have played better on the defence. So if I'd stopped him on defence, then I'd probably go for the quick score, even against the perfect defence. I maybe would have played it differently. Um, if it had been nil and sort of been one nil down, so who knows? I feel like I I should have stopped him scoring though at least, and then maybe I would have been diced out of it and lost one nil. But I don't know. Right, it is what it is, isn't it? Right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.